Hey BVN, I'm Matt Scowcroft, and welcome to Virtual Reality. That would be the future of America, virtual reality. Virtual reality, or VR for short, is a computer simulated environment that gives the user the feeling of being in that environment. In this fake world, you can interact with others around the world and do some other stuff. Now you're wondering, hey, how do I get my hands on one of those VR devices? Well, luckily for you, the process is simple. You can visit your local Best Buy and steal a high quality VR device like the Oculus Rift. But you'll also have to steal a high quality computer that can process VR. However, if you want to do it the legal way and not get sent to prison, you have to pay around $600 for the VR device and $900 at minimum to play it on the computer. However, for free you can have social interactions in real life with real people. In virtual reality, you can become any avatar you want to be. But let's be honest, all the people on here are either anime girls or memes. Essentially, virtual reality is where you pay hundreds of dollars to do this. Want to try out virtual reality for a super low price? Check out the Google Cardboard, the virtual reality device that is $15, where you're paying literally $15 for literal cardboard. I'm Matt Scowcroft, and have an all right day, BVN. Many rumors have been circulating around the school regarding the continuation of North Time in the coming years. We sat down with Dr. Ostrowski to find out the answer. So the first couple weeks of the semester, just like at the beginning of the year, uh, we have our traditional schedule with no North Time. A um, couple reasons for that. One, just to kind of get back into the overall um, system of the semester. North Time is an academic intervention and really we wanted classes just to get going for a bit. It's kind of a hard uh, first couple weeks anyway with the days off, so we just felt like at the beginning of the first true full week of January, we would start with North Time. There's no discussions about taking it away at all, and starting next year, over half the school will have only known North Time. We'll continue to evolve and we'll continue to grow and people will understand how to use this effectively. Now, we've taken it away at different times um, because we felt like there were some behaviors that needed to be refocused. Um, and we reserve that option um, when we need to, but we see this going in a very positive direction. Um, it just takes some time. Despite the rumors, North Time is not going away anytime soon. However, we need to keep in mind that we can help to keep it from becoming an issue. We all love North Time, so we all have to behave and keep North clean. Spoken Word Poetry Club is really a build on the writer's workshop class that we've had for several years that got shut down after Miss Whitfield left. It is the place to go if you're someone who wants to create, if you're someone who's interested in at least exploring that aspect of yourself. And I really think that like everyone should at least once in a while, you know, try and get out of their comfort zone and try to create something. I participated in one of the best events of all time. It was the spoken word rap battle, me versus Stubblefield. You gotta sell the school off. They call me Budget Cup Boy, I'm about to lay you off. I destroyed that man, his career done. <laughs> When we get into kind of the end of the semester showcase, we're gonna do another rap battle style thing. It might be another rap battle, you know, Stubblefield. We're gonna have a rematch. I admire, you're tired, it's time to just retire. So dire, your rap sound like bad satire. Inspire, I inquire, Stubby, now cause I was inquiring. No need for pardon, cause I'm the one who's inspired. My rhymes are the peak of this rap game. Yours, these stubs are inscribed in the Hall of Lame. Give us a try.
You don't even have to invest money, so there's no need for a money back guarantee. We're free like that. And we have donuts sometimes. We meet on Mondays, we meet during the first half of North Time, uh, room 518, it's super spicy. Check out my mixtape dropping January 31st at SoundCloud uh, College Board, and that's board like spelled like, like boring. Respect women, respect women. Yo, uh, I respect women so much that I don't even pay for her lunch. Cause she independent, she a judge. Hey BBN, come to the studio in room 424 during B Lunch North Time on Friday, January 26th. Bring questions for Mike Graham to answer with his friends to be a part of Ask Mike too. Thanks. it will be like nothing you've ever seen. Hi, I'm here to show you the new iPhone X. 